All right, guys, welcome back to another video, Shaman J. Yes, I bought it, okay? I bought. I told you guys I was interested in getting it. Um, today is the day that you can actually go in and purchase this, uh, and, well, I got mine. So this is the Sony um, ZV-1 camera for content creators, it says, and vloggers. So I'm going to use this to shoot footage for the channel, and I'm going to use it to vlog on the go if I'm doing something with my car channel and stuff like that now. Comparing it against like my GoPro 8 uh, and, and black and everything. So we'll see how that works. But the main thing that I want to get into this with this is the background defocus mode and the product showcase mode. Uh, and the way you, both of these have one button access. So um, I'll go ahead and set that up. But, you know, clear audio, it says you get a, you get a dead cat in here, or basically a wind filter. Uh, and, um, you know, it's basically just a point and shoot with some mirror, high end mirrorless camera features. The lens is about the focal length of 24 millimeters, so I'll be sure to test that out. Uh, so let's get it. Let's get it out of the box, man. You've seen a ton of videos of people telling you about the specs and then you know giving you some footage, but you guys know I have a Sony A6100. It's my favorite setup right now. Here is your um, wind noise footage put on there, and uh, this is micro USB still. Ugh. Here's the camera. I haven't had a good point and shoot camera since my Samsung camera. And whoa, this is uh, this is pretty lightweight. We're gonna give this a once over. We'll pop the battery in. Let's see here. Here's the battery. Official Sony battery. This is the NPBX1 1240. And that's all that's in the box. So we'll throw this back in here. And um, I'm gonna. Pretty much, you know, here's the manuals if you guys don't care about this. Um, pretty much want to <clears throat> toss that, get into this camera here. Um, I'll throw the S, get an SD card and put it in here. And uh, we are gonna be trucking. But first, let's power it up here. Let's take a once over. Here's the flip out screen like this. It obviously twists uh, and it'll face back in to you like so. Uh, but for vlogs, most people are probably going to have it flipped out like that, which is why it's kind of defaulted that way. You've got uh, ZV-1 branding on the top right here. And you've got the uh, Exmor RS4K. Inside of here is three microphones. You got your on off, your mode, your zoom. And you record, and this is how you do the blurred background. Uh, and down here, you long press the delete, which is C2, uh, and it should take you into the product function uh, where you can display products and get a nice, quick focus. So I'm gonna pop this open here, and I'm gonna get a, a uh, SD card in here. But you know what, first let's go ahead and put this on because this will give coverage for the microphones here. Show you what that looks like. Can't believe that's a micro SD card uh, or micro micro uh, USB on there. You can hear the excitement in my voice. I'm super excited. Oh, this is pretty cool how they got this. You know, it doesn't, it's not going to block the uh, camera at all. And then also um, you can um, put your own microphone up there. It uses one of, it's compatible with one of Sony's uh, high-end microphones, but you got your Zeiss the, uh, logo down there. And uh, again, this is the equivalent of uh, 24 millimeters is what I'm told. So you got a little small grip here, a little rubber grip here. You got a spot for a lanyard. If you open up here, you got a spot for a microphone. Uh, and then this is multi, so that's gonna be the type C. And then charging more like and then link into your computer. Uh, and then you've got the uh, HDMI right there. And I, I have HDMI ports and everything. So you can actually put in your external mic if you just don't want to use uh, the ones that are built in. But I'm going to use the ones built in. This is I got this because it's compact compared to my A6100. Uh, and this is just going to be so nice. So let's go ahead and get this fired up. I'll get an SD card in here. Uh, and... Um, We'll go ahead and uh, get some footage going versus my A6100. So let's get this powered up. So when I got the camera, I actually ended up picking up the vloggers kit too. 
So you get this uh, grip here. This is the GP VPT two B two BT. This isn't actually brand new. This has been out for quite some time. Uh, so, but they're advertising it with this camera now because they want you to buy it together. Uh, so, but in the content co uh, content creators kit or the vloggers kit, you get an SD card, which is the sixty four gig Sony uh, high speed card. Well, kind of high speed. Uh, and then you get the grip itself. Uh, you basically can control it wirelessly. I went on ahead and took it out of that box. Let's get to the grip. There it is. That is the grip. Let's move this aside. In the box here, let's see what else we got. Got another little bag, got a bag. Uh, and you got a battery. You'll need that. I won't use the bag. And you got some manuals in there that I definitely will not be reading. Uh, so we'll need that, I'm sure. Uh, so it's gonna go under here. So you pull like this and then you pull down and that opens up the back cover to the battery. I'll put that in in just a second. Uh, but you've got your tight uh, and then you've got wide, basically your zoom. Uh, and then you've got movie, take photo, and this recalls the last position and you can lock it in a position. So you put your camera up here then you should press this button right here. You can move it the head this way by pressing this button right there, you can tighten it down. You see, you keep it tight. You loosen it up over here and then you can swivel the camera like this. That way you don't have to uh, like take the camera off. So let's grab the new Sony. Uh, let's put this in. And you wanna go to Bluetooth and pair it to your Sony. The, the camera was kind of dead, so um, I just went on ahead and Put it on the charge for a little bit. That goes in like so. Uh, and then we'll go to, let's get the camera real quick. I was shooting some test footage, but it's pretty much, pretty much dead. Uh, <laughs> so I'm gonna put it on like this. So we'll go up to the power. The one thing I don't like about this dead cat is it covers up the power button. So let's power it on, we go to menu, and then we'll go to Bluetooth. All right, guys, I'm stubborn, so I had to go ahead and whip out the manual. So ultimately, you go into network, and then you first thing you do is you turn on the Bluetooth controls, then you go back, and then you go down to Bluetooth remote control. Make sure you turn this on. And there you have it. You hold down photo and T on the remote, on the, on the grip, and then press OK, and it is successfully connected and you are good to go now. You can actually go ahead and start taking photos and shooting video. And that is how the grip is. I will give you guys more coverage and uh, let's go just uh, have some fun with this thing. So the grip is really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take a photo of something here. All right, so now I should be able to hold this and take a photo with the photo button. And it definitely works. As you can see, I pressed the button there. If you kind of press the button a little bit and then give it like a slight hesitation, uh, it will focus. And I think that's pretty cool. And if you want to do zoom, you can actually zoom in. That's really close, so it probably wouldn't do it, but you can hit movie. And there I'm recording. Boom, boom, boom. Hey, hey, hey. I'm going to turn up the gain on the microphone too. Anyway. There's the grip, man. There is the grip. Uh, this, is, this should be pretty nice to have in combination with my new camera. So I'm pretty excited. I just want to get this thing unboxed for you guys and um, show you that I had this too, uh, the creator's kit, because uh, I, uh, I think I'm a creator. All right, guys, so here's the footage. This is the camera. I just turned on clear. The background should be kind of clear right now. And let's turn on defocus. You can switch back, so background defocus. So basically the background blurs out the best of this camera's ability to do. Now this is a, this is a um, mode that I love to use when recording video. Uh, and uh, I think you guys will tell me what you think about the footage. I will turn on my 16 um, millimeter lens. Let's see here. Here's my Sony with the 16 millimeter lens. 
I will turn that on in just a second and compare the footage. But you know what I'm looking at here on the viewfinder. There are different modes you can run this camera in manual mode. Um, it, it, you can. It's it's got a lot of mirrorless camera features. Uh, I really like this grip. I'm using the grip, uh, but it's got a lot of mirrorless camera features. Uh, but it in fact um, is not so much a mirrorless camera. Just kind of walking around, give you some sense of the audio. I was I went into manual mode to check the audio. Uh, and it was at like 25 already. I was gonna turn it up, but I was like, ah. Now here's the strange part. <laughs> this is this is gonna sound strange. Um, I'm used to looking at the Sony now with the screen above me, and now I feel like I'm back on my Canon by looking over here. It's, it's almost a distraction to look over here. So I think I could probably use this camera with it with the flip close I probably could for video if I'm on the move doing something I would just close it up uh, and um, shoot the video and walk around like this because this screen is definitely a bit of a of a distraction for me now that I'm used to um, the flip up on the a6100 so the eye tracking is really good it's it's really keeping me in focus um, it's really nice. This is a sweet camera. I gotta give it up. Video recording on it is really good. Uh, it's just a, it's a good look. It's a good look. You've got stabilization too that you can turn on, but I don't, you know, I'm gonna be probably use, I'm gonna vlog with this and, and turn on stabilization, but um, probably not too much. I'll probably use this for a lot of um, YouTube videos going forward, so I don't have to move. But if I do get on the move and take a trip or something like that or shoot things on my car channel, this is the camera that I'm gonna use. All right, guys, so um, this, uh, you should be able to tell the difference uh, in this footage here. I'm trying to get these to be pretty much positioned or kind of sit in the same spot here. Um, I've got the, um, the new Sony over here, and as I look through the viewfinder, let me see if I can turn on the blurred background if it's not already on now it's the defocus is on uh so now it's it's a little bit blurry i think we should look at look at about those pictures right there if you look at the pictures um obviously the 16 millimeter sigma lens this camera is doing fantastic with blurring out the background super crisp really in the fore, uh, foreground background is like super blurry but on the uh the z uh, ZV1 or VZ1, whatever it is, the new Sony, uh, it still doesn't blur out the background uh, as much as I would like, but it's still good enough. Uh, and again, I'm just kind of sitting in the same spot that I normally sit in. Uh, and so the Sigma lens is what you're, what you're used to. This new Sony appears to kind of brighten up everything, if you will. It just kind of it makes everything a lot brighter than what I'm used to. The microphones on the Sony sound really good to me with the noise canceling or the wind, wind filter on it. I don't have wind filter turned on in the settings, but I do have the, the noise filter, the wind filter on the, on the camera. Now over here on the Sony, obviously I just have this little shotgun mic that I purchased. Uh, I don't have my big one with the wind filter on it, uh, the dead cat, if you will. But look at the difference in quality here. This is the A6100 coupled with the Sigma 16 millimeter lens. And then this is the Sony uh, ZV-1. Uh, so what do you think about this footage? I wanted to put these side by side because if I, go, if I leave and go do a car vlog, this camera is coming with me. This camera right here to me coupled with this, this uh, Sigma lens is too heavy and I didn't buy it to travel with, so to speak. I bought this for stationary vlogs like this. So it is actually on a metal tripod, a little mini tabletop metal tripod and I also have the bigger tripod. But this camera right here for sure will be going with me for vlogs. I've got the nice um, vlogger kit. I think it's, uh, if, you, if you decide to get this uh, ZV-1, I totally recommend that you get the vlogger kit. Uh, it, I think you'll thank yourself later. The tripod isn't a tall tripod. That's the bad part. So they, I think they ultimately want you to do this. So let me move this camera. Because in order to get this camera up this high, I had to sit it up on a box. Uh, but this is what they want you to do with this camera. They kind of want you to, you know, use it like this. 
I want you to have it like this. And this isn't something that, this is a good angle I see people doing with their, with their vlogs. Uh, but I can tell you that one thing I really like about this camera opposed to the Sigma is that it's super lightweight uh, and you get a very clear photo, or clear photos and clear, clear video. Uh, but I don't think the, um, the kind of the portrait uh, blurred background is that great. So, uh, well, in comparison to the Sigma 16 millimeter lens on the A6100. This is great quality from what I can tell from a point and shoot. I think this, this camera so far is totally worth it. Uh, and it has the mode that I'm gonna test now, uh, the, um, where you put the focus, you do the focus, it'll uh, product product show or show products or whatever. I'm gonna just hold some things real fast in front of the camera uh, and then we'll conclude this video. Now product showcase is something that this device is supposed to be really fast when focusing. So I took my shot, little baby shotgun mic out of my 6100. I'm just gonna see how quickly it focuses. Let's go. Wow. That is crazy fast. Now, let's try something a little bigger. Okay, let's try my glasses. It even seems to focus on something I'm kind of holding at a certain angle. That is fast. Now let's try my ring. This should be kind of tough for it. Let's try it. Nope. Wow. Well, um, I'm impressed. That is impressive, man. That is really impressive. Wow. So it's called product show feature. And as you can see, when I'm recording this video, I'm not really this uh, camera guru. Shoot, I couldn't even remember the name of the camera. It's the ZV-1, <clears throat> but it doesn't bother me because the content, the footage that comes from it, I know how it's gonna fit me in my life. And this is just incredible right here, man. That's ridiculously fast. You have to kind of keep it in this, the little guidelines. There's like a little frame on there. If you keep it in there, it'll focus quickly. The way you turn that on, The way you turn that on is you hold down the delete button or you just press the delete button and it should go ahead and turn on. But there you have it, man. That is a wrap um, for this beautiful, let's adjust the camera here. The focal length is about uh, 24 millimeters lens. Uh, so I'm gonna turn off this uh, thing here and then turn back on the blurred background. It's on clear, let's turn it to blurred. Defocus. I don't think it's the best, you know, defocus background. Like they, I mean, and maybe because it's in my house. If I go outside, maybe it'll look different, but it is definitely good to have. And if I was going to shoot a vlog, uh, this camera definitely could do it. It's not the best vlogging camera. I think my GoPro, if we go outside, my GoPro will slaughter this camera, to be honest. Indoors, my GoPro in that other video looked really dark. Uh, but if I go outside, with this camera and my GoPro Hero 8 Black. The GoPro Hero 8 Black can't do the blurred background, but it definitely can take good photos and shoot stellar video. And stabilization, it's, it's, no, it's, no, it's no match. So the active steady shot is on. I didn't even bother putting it to standard because it came with, it came with the active on. So I was like, I'm not gonna put it back to standard. But what do you guys think about the microphones? What do you guys think about my brand new Sony Whoo, ZV1. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you enjoyed. Wait, did I already do the one more thing? I think I did the one more thing already.